Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Old Savage Gamer Triple X here, and we're back with another video on what if Bardock went to Earth instead of Goku. And now we're at the end of Z, and we're nuking everything you know about the end of Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sorry about the anger. It's just trying to record this three or three times is pissing me off because my phone's not or taking it. Anyways, sum up. Beerus sees the Super Saiyan God thing, and he wants to go visit it. He asks Whis to look up files on the Saiyans, and Whis finds it. Or finds him six Saiyans are on Earth, including on the way Videl and Kakarot's son, Goten, and Bardock on Ur -Ur, King Kai's planet. They go to King Kai's planet while everybody's setting up for Bulma's birthday on Earth, and Bardock is scared because he knows Beerus has a god of destruction, can destroy him, and he can't even restore sense his key. And when Beerus asks him for Bardock, or for Bardock to tell what he knows on the Super Saiyan God, all Bardock says it is it's a myth. And then Beerus wants to see Bardock's power. Bardock uh, fights him in his base. Can't touch him. Super Saiyan can't touch him. Super Saiyan 2 can't touch him. And Super Saiyan 3 only can get... God damn it! No! Can't even touch him. Or, or Super Saiyan 3 only can get uh, one or two punches. Oh my god, I'm stressed out. Anyways, now with all that cleared up. My, you disappointed me, Saiyan. I thought. I am recording! Anyways. Now we're on Earth. Everything that happened in the Battle of Gods thing happens here. Boo fucked up by eating the pudding. And oh my god. Did Kakarot and Vegeta and Gohanks get clapped? I know this might be a short podcast episode, but I'm trying to reel things up because of the stupid storage shit. Anyways, now we're on to Bardock getting to planet Earth, trying to warn them about Beerus. Beerus is angry. Bulma tries to tell him off. He slaps Bulma. It is Vegeta going into Super or Mystic instead of the regular Super Saiyan. He's enraged, and he actually lands stuff on Beerus and actually made Beerus use ten percent of his power. Then Bardock said one thing: Did even Beerus tell you what he truly wanted? He wanted to know the power of a Super Saiyan God. All I know is that it's a myth, but. We need the Dragon Balls. They didn't summon Shenron, ask him about it, and they or he said five Saiyans, but anymore it's six Saiyans, and while well, they have seven. Count or eight, technically counting Goten. Anyways. They use everybody, including Videl announcing she's pregnant with Goten. And they give Bardock the power of the Super Saiyan God. The Battle of Gods fight happens. It was so good. And in, when Goku had the power in the regular anime, Beerus only had to use 70%. This time, because Bardock is stronger, Beerus is going to use 90%. My Saiyan, you're the strongest one I ever fought. And everything is normal. Bardock loses the God Key, reverts to Super Saiyan, still keeps up with Beerus. Bardock already knew that he lost the God Key. And then, sure, Beerus is tired, but he still wants to fight. When Bardock is on the ground, 
Kakarot walks up to him. K Kakarot, need you to do me a favor. What is it? Bardock grabs Kakarot's hand, and here is where the twist happens. Because me and a couple of friends have been debating for the Resurrection F Saga, who would get Super Saiyan Blue along with Bardock? Well, it turns out there's going to be two. Go he gives Goku the god key, Goku becomes god, and tires Beerus out winning the fight and saving Earth for another day. And that leads us to the Resurrection F Saga. Like and subscribe down below. If you like my content, hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my content. Leave a positive comment down below. I enjoy reading those, and I'm sorry to cut this short. This is Savage Gamer Triple X here saying so long and see you on the bright side. Bye.